It was supposed to be presidential election day in Somalia. But following a dispute over the way the poll was to be organised, it hasn't happened. Instead, a coalition of opposition candidates have now declared the government of President Formaggio illegitimate. In an interview to be broadcast on Talk to Al Jazeera, the Foreign Minister, Mohammed Abdurrazak, told me that's wrong. The government will stay in office until an election can be held. Well, after that time, after that four years, he is no longer legitimately the president. No, there cannot be a vacuum. The federal parliament in both chambers have signed, uh, voted for, uh, by a majority of 215 in the lower house and 40 senators to have a, a law that would allow for the parliament with its full authority to continue with its mandate and for all the institutions of the federal government to continue. The UN is urging all sides to go back to the negotiating table, but it won't rule on the constitutional position. It is not for the United Nations in any setting to uh, anoint a government declared legitimate or not legitimate. There are institutions that are in place, that have been agreed to, that have been negotiated. Uh, we believe that uh, Somali political leaders need to come together. Whether you think the government is legitimate or illegitimate, Somalia now finds itself in a constitutional grey zone. This in what was supposed to be a pivotal year for the troubled country. This year, AMISOM, the 2,000-strong African Union force, is supposed to hand over its responsibilities to the Somali National Army, but most experts believe it's not yet equipped to take the lead role. The group most likely to benefit from the current political crisis is Al-Shabaab, which continues to fight AMISOM and the Somali government. An indication of the concern of the international community is the fact the UN Security Council will now meet to discuss the situation on Tuesday. James Bayes, Al Jazeera, at the United Nations.